This is Eric with Viking Analytics with an overview of the SPX market report. Our lead developer, programmer, and strategist is Rob McBride, who is a former managing director of a $14 billion hedge fund. We take a systematic approach to our analysis, and all of our signals are rigorously applied and back tested. I founded Viking Analytics in 2015 after selling a renewable fuel company. I have been in the energy business for over 20 years and have a lot of experience in commodity trading and financial analysis. In 2016, I was introduced to some concepts that helped me to understand that the options market can often be the tail that wags the dog of the stock market and I've been publishing delta and gamma signals since 2017. I like to say that I was gamma when gamma wasn't cool. Nowadays, gamma is everywhere, and it has become common knowledge that options volume, open interest, delta, and gamma all have influences on the underlying stock in commodity markets. Bloomberg, CNBC, The Wall Street Journal, and, and of course Zero Hedge now regularly update investors with tips and tools from Gamma Analysis. Most of what I read in the media about Gamma is not necessarily actionable for the average investor. The SPX report is designed to distill options data into actionable decisions that are both accessible and understandable. We're showing our Gamma Band model, which is essentially a trend-following, long-only model that relies on options data for its signals. When the value of SPX falls below gamma neutral, shown here by the blue line, then the model will reduce SPX exposure since risk is expected to increase. When the value of SPX, shown by the black line, falls below the lower gamma, shown by the red line, the model goes flat since risk is expected to accelerate. The second chart here shows the allocation to SPX in relation to the, to the price level above. So right now we're 100% allocated here um, since we're above the gamma neutral level. If you go back to uh, March of 2020, 2020 you can see when we were below the red line, as long as we were below the red line, the model had a 0% allocation. So in any case, this model has increased risk-adjusted returns by 75% by following these simple rules. There are more indicators and tools contained in the SPX report, but this should give you a good idea of what to expect on a daily basis as we publish these daily reports. Please visit our website and download a sample report to learn more.